Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here from GamersHeroes.com and today we'll be going over how to unlock the Tri-Seal so you gain access to the treasure chest and the Sword Cemetery in Genshin Impact. Let's get started. As the name Tri would indicate, there are three switches you need to hit. First one will be found here up in the gorge. Uh, they're all in the gorge to be fair, but this one's up north of where the Sword Cemetery is. I actually had to do a challenge here, I had to kill 10 enemies in like a minute 30 or something like that. There's a bunch of chests, you do that, once they're dead, you can then hit that switch with an ice person and that will be one of the three for the um, tri thing, the tri seal. Next one is down here, south of where the uh, cemetery is and where the gorge actually is. Uh, this one's similar, I had to kill a mini boss and a few others. You'll get the treasure chest and of course you will get that switch. You will need a lightning person to activate that one. That will be two of the three seals opened. Last but not least, right over here, sort of south, uh, southeast, I guess it would be, if, if north is up anyways. Um, over here, there is another camp. Again, a mini boss and actually a mage. Take care of them. And there's a fire switch. At this point, you know what to do. Hit the fire switch. That will be the third and last seal and the treasure chest will be uh, accessible. Head there and open the chest, grab your loot and you will complete the quest. Get some extra loot. Uh, it's a four star claymore piece. Um, so you can build a claymore with it if you have all the other materials and of course you get a bunch of other good loot as well All right, that will do it for me if you liked what you saw and got what you needed like comment subscribe. See you guys in the next video later gators